Well, what's happening? What's going on? What's up, guys? My name's Justin. Welcome to the channel, Fast Entrepreneur. And let's get into it. This video I want to talk about, wait for it, Pulse Chain. Pulse Chain. Pulse Chain. What is it? Why might it be something you want to pay attention to? All right, let's get into it. So, Pulse Chain. Well, it's got its roots with Hex and Richard Hart. If you don't know who uh, Richard Hart is, started Hex. Um, I remember when he was launching Hex and I was on the fence about it because um, I wasn't, I, listen, he's outside the box, but I took him serious when maybe, uh, seriously when others didn't, so I, I did look into it. Um, and then I think as time went on, I just, uh, I think I decided not to pull the trigger. And when I went to revisit the, you know, see what was actually happening many, many months later, um, wow, I was surprised. Um, so, I think Hex has already uh, made some tremendous gains for some people. If you were one of them, congratulations. Uh, maybe Pulse Chain will be round two. What is it? Well, Richard Hart, he wants to fork Ethereum, right? We all know Ethereum uh, gas fees are so, so high. It kind of makes it, you know, very difficult and just kind of pointless for small time users to be paying so many fees here and there and everywhere. So, Pulse Chain, here's his plan. He wants to fork Ethereum, they'll take a snapshot, and basically, not just your, your Ether, but your ERC20s, right? Any tokens that are on the Ethereum network, They'll just be instantly copied onto the Pulse Chain network, kind of like a free airdrop. And then here's the kicker: there's a there's a um, what do we call it? There's a, a Pulse token, if you will, that kind of acts like Ether. You know how Ether runs the Ethereum network? It looks like Pulse will do the same for the Pulse Chain network. But they're claiming that they're gonna see some really good gains with efficiency and speed and transaction price dropping. And so if that's the case, perhaps Pulse Chain may actually be a quite a um, quite a game changer. We'll have to see. I mean we all know that you know the layer ones are competing. We know the layer twos are definitely out there competing for the limelight. You know, we're all waiting for Ethereum's uh, you know ETH 2.0 upgrade so pulse chain now i don't know exactly when it's coming out but you know they seem to be indicating that they're working quickly and it could be happening you know could be any day now it could be months from now i don't know um now there is a little kicker and specifically like you know he's talking about hex right so you'll have hex on ethereum then you'll now have the same number of hex on Pulse Chain. And basically, the market dictates, you know, where the value where the value is going to go. A lot of people think that the old Ethereum chain hex will, you know, slowly, actually, maybe precipitously after the fork, lose its value, uh, and the value then will be on the Pulse Chain. Now, may, I don't know, is this going to happen with the other ERC twenties? And I, we're going to see how you know big this is. But there is a kicker, it's called a sacrifice period. It's about uh, 30 days because they they want to incentivize people to use the new Pulse network, right? But how do you do that if you have to have Pulse, right, to use the network? And so some people, well, if you airdrop it for free to everybody that's already on Ethereum regardless, right? One to one, I think, or something like that they're doing, then, um, okay, then they've all got a little bit that they can play with. I think they give you 30 days to play with it. If you don't move it, then it's then it's gone. Now, the kicker is you will get uh, a greater number uh, and people are 
planning to do this with their hex, but um, there's a sacrifice period, and that's the kicker. You can actually sacrifice not just hex, but other ERC-20s. I don't know if it's gonna work similar to a burn, because it may not be a permanent burn, but basically, once you sacrifice, you probably ain't getting that, those funds back. Um, but the reality is that uh, the amount of pulse, so if you do decide to go through the sacrifice, the amount of pulse that you're going to receive is like light years ahead of, of what you would have just received, uh, you know, just from the free airdrop. So if the value, this is the way I look at it, if the value of the pulse network actually does increase, um, you know, this might be uh, not a bad way to kind of get in to the pulse network. And, you know, a lot of people are doing it. They want to, you know, maybe have, maybe they're just going to buy hex, right? See a run up in price, perhaps it's already running up in price a little bit. Whenever this fork happens, maybe the Ethereum one goes down, the Hex one goes up, and then who knows when the sacrifice period goes in, maybe you take some of those gains or other gains to get some more Pulse. But anyways, just want to say Pulse Network, uh, or Pulse Chain, sorry. I don't know when it's coming out, um, but you know, if you're not aware of it, you might want to look into it. I don't know if it's going to work the way they are planning to, but if you look at what happened with Hex, um, you know, it might not be something that you want to sleep on either because... You know, Hex had some crazy gains for some people. So, anyways, guys, that's it. Um, yeah, that's it. Be blessed. Check it out. If you've got any, you know, comments or anything you want to share with me, uh, feel free to drop them below in the comments. And as always, if you like my shades and if you like my style and what we're spitting down on this channel, please subscribe to the channel. We are almost at 100 subscribers so thankful to all you guys and gals and yeshiba pups and yakitas and yakishus and all the dojas in the world that's all i got be blessed <laughs>